Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Loves Data. In this video, I'm going to show you how to track QR codes in Google Analytics. When you correctly track QR codes, you'll be able to see how people are finding your website and you'll be able to compare the performance of your QR codes to each other and your other marketing initiatives. Apart from covering the steps you need to track QR codes into Google Analytics, I'm also going to show you how you can report on your QR codes. I'll show you how to do this using the standard reports and how to create an exploration report for custom reporting. Let's begin by summarizing the steps we need to take. There are six steps you'll need to follow to track QR codes into Google Analytics. First, you'll need to choose your landing page. Then you'll need to add UTM parameters, which are also called campaign tags for Google Analytics. You'll need to create your QR code. Test that your QR code is tracked correctly. Publish your QR code. And finally, you'll need to report on their performance. The first step is to choose the page you are sending people to on your website. This is the landing page that they will view after they've scanned your QR code. Let's say my QR code is going to send people to the courses page on my website. The first step is to get this URL. For my example, this will be www.lovesdata.com forward slash courses. I recommend checking that the URL for your landing page is correct. So let's enter the URL into our browser. And we can see the page loads, so we can continue to the next step. The second step is probably the hardest because you'll need to decide how you want your QR code reported in Google Analytics. We're going to decide on the UTM parameters or campaign tags we're going to add to our URL. If you're not familiar with UTM parameters, they are query parameters or extra pieces of information that are added to the end of a URL. Once someone opens the URL with the UTM parameters, the value of those parameters or tags are tracked into Google Analytics. We can then surface these pieces of information in our reports. At a minimum, you should use campaign tags to understand the source, medium and overarching campaign for each of your QR codes. To track these pieces of information, we'll use the following tags. UTM underscore source identifies where someone sees your message. UTM underscore medium tells you how the message was communicated. UTM underscore campaign is used to understand the name of the campaign or promotion. Since you can name the source, medium and campaign anything you like, there are different approaches you can use when tracking QR codes into Google Analytics. It really comes down to what you want to see in your reports. We're focused on QR codes, but if you would like to learn more about UTM parameters and tracking campaigns, I've included a link in the extra resources below this video. Okay, since we can name UTM parameters anything we like, I'm going to share two approaches you can use. You can then choose the option that works best for you. The first option is where you focus on the QR code. So your reports will tell you who created the QR code and that people are using the QR code to find your website. For this option, you will set the UTM source as either your own company name, since you created the QR code that people are scanning, or as the name of the QR code generator used to create the code. This allows you to identify where someone sees your message. For example, if you're using Bitly to create the QR code, you could use Bitly as the source. You would then set the UTM medium as QR plus sign code or something similar so that you'll be able to see that people scan the QR code to access your website. The UTM campaign tag would then be set as the overarching name of the campaign or promotion you're running. Using this naming method is the simplest and easiest option when it comes to reporting. So if you're unsure what the best way to track your QR codes is, I recommend starting with this option. Continuing our example, if we wanted to send people to www.lovesdata.com forward slash courses, our tagged URL would look something like this. 
So the source is Love's data, the medium is QR code, and the campaign is QR code post. Now let's look at the second option. This is where you focus on where the QR code is printed or displayed. It means your reports will be more about the marketing initiative. You would set the UTM source based on where the QR code is displayed. For example, if the QR code is to be included in an ad printed in a newspaper, you would set the source to something like newspaper or even the name of the newspaper. Or if you are printing the QR code in a brochure or pamphlet, you would set the source as brochure or the publication. The UTM medium would then be set based on how the message will be communicated. If we were continuing the newspaper or brochure example, then we would likely set the medium as offline. And like the first option we looked at, the UTM campaign tag would also be set to the overarching name of the campaign or promotion. Apart from these options, you can also use the UTM source platform and UTM creative format tags to track people using QR codes into Google Analytics. For example, you could combine the options we've looked at to create a hybrid that looks something like this. The source is your company name, the medium is offline, then your overarching campaign name, the source platform is the QR code generator, and the creative format is QR code. Then continuing the example using our courses page, this would give you a URL like this. So the source is Love's Data, the medium is Offline, the campaign is QR code post, the source platform is Bitly, and the creative format is QR code. There are also additional campaign tags you could use if you feel they are relevant and will provide additional insights in your reports. These are the UTM content, UTM term, UTM marketing tactic, and UTM ID tags. The most important one to mention is the UTM ID tag as you would need to use this if you want to upload advertising cost data to Google Analytics. Otherwise, these are all optional. There's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to using campaign tags, so consider what you want to see in your reports and what will be the easiest for you to interpret when you jump into Google Analytics. Now that we've selected our landing page and applied UTM parameters to the URL, the next step is to create our QR code. There are lots of tools you can use to create QR codes, so you can use any tool you like. If you're looking for suggestions, here are some popular free and freemium options you can consider. There's Bitly, QR Code Monkey, ScanOver, QR Icket, and QR Stuff. Today I'm going to use Bitly, but again you can use any QR code generator you like. Let's head to Bitly. I've already logged in, so let's select Create New on the top left corner. And let's choose QR code. Now we need to enter our landing page along with our UTM parameters. We can adjust the optional title. This is just for reporting in Bitly. We won't see this in Google Analytics or anywhere else. And you also have the option to customize the short link. I'm going to leave these options and click Design Your Code at the bottom. Now we can adjust the style of our QR code. We can change the design, adjust the color, and more. As you can see, there are also more options available if you're using the paid version of Bitly. When you're ready, click Create Your Code. We've now created our QR code that directs people to the landing page on our website. This means it's time to test our QR code. I'm going to grab my phone to make sure everything is working. Let's scan the code. And load our website. The main things we need to check are that our UTM parameters are in the URL we loaded. We can see UTM parameters in the URL, so that's good. The other thing we need to check is that Google Analytics is installed on our website. Let's head to Google Analytics to check this. 
I've already logged into Google Analytics and opened my property. So let's navigate to Reports and select Real Time. Now we look for the event count by event name card. And let's select the page view event. Now we need to find the campaign parameter. We can use the arrows to do this. And let's select campaign. We can now see the campaign name we defined for our UTM parameter. So we know our QR code tracking is working. You could also check the source, medium, and any other UTM parameters you've defined to check those too. Now that we've tested our QR code tracking and it's working, the next step is to publish your QR code. This is where you print, promote, or start using your QR code. Once people are scanning your QR code and loading your landing page, you will be able to start reporting on performance in Google Analytics. If people start scanning your QR code today, then you'll be able to see your campaign tags appear in your reports tomorrow. I suggest waiting 24 hours before jumping into your reports so that data is available. Once your QR codes are tracked and available in Google Analytics, you can begin using the reports. Let's head back to Google Analytics to take a look at the standard reports and exploration reports. Traffic from your QR codes will be automatically available in the acquisition reports. This includes the traffic acquisition report, which includes session-based campaign tag dimensions. To see this, let's navigate to Reports, then Acquisition, and let's select Traffic Acquisition. This report automatically groups your marketing channels, but we can change the default dimension above the table, and then choose one of the other available dimensions. For example, we can select Campaign. This will show us all of the campaigns, including the campaign name we used for our QR code. You can also choose from any of the other dimensions you used when creating the UTM parameters for your QR code. Now let's create a custom report for our QR codes. To do this, let's navigate to Explore and let's create a new exploration report. Let's name the report QR Codes. Now let's click the plus sign next to Dimensions. And let's search for and enable Session Campaign. Session Source. Session Source Platform, Session Medium, and Session Manual Creative Format. Now let's click Import, and let's double click these dimensions to add them under Rows. Now let's click the plus sign next to Metrics, and let's search for and enable Sessions. I encourage you to enable additional metrics in your report, including conversion metrics like key events and purchases. I'm going to keep things simple for this report, so let's click Import. Now let's double click the metric to add it under Values. We can see the report includes rows for non-QR code traffic, so let's add a filter. I'm going to select Session Campaign, but you might need to choose another one of the dimensions depending on how you named your UTM parameters. Now I'm going to select Contains and enter QR. Now let's click Apply. We've now created an exploration report that shows the traffic from QR codes coming to our website. 
Remember there are different approaches you can use when creating the UTM parameters to track your QR codes. So use an option that works for you and your reporting requirements. Are you going to track QR codes? And which option are you going to use? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments. If you'd like to learn more about Google Analytics, then please take a moment to check out my courses. I've included a link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.